The three bodies found at a Springfield home are all women, and tonight police say at least two of them were reported missing to police. We are also getting a closer look at the crime scene. The pictures show rectangular holes that investigators dug in the yard of the home where Stuart Weldon lived. Now, Weldon has not been charged in connection with the three bodies investigators found. But he was back in court today facing new charges of kidnapping and sexual assault. WBZ's Christina Hager's live force in Springfield tonight with the breaking details on this case. Christina? We also got some new information from the district attorney who says investigators will stay here at this home for the next two to three days. He says investigators have been able to find some helpful evidence that's in addition to those bodies that were discovered here and now we know who they are. As the identities of three bodies found at this Springfield home come to light, shock among those who knew the women. A friend of 34-year-old America Leiden from Springfield says she went missing this summer. We weren't, nobody was sure where she was at. I prayed that she was found, but not like this. The youngest of the three was 27-year-old Kayla Escalante from Ludlow. Her neighbors say she was estranged from her parents. And the Hamden District Attorney announced the third victim was 47-year-old Ernestine Ryans from Springfield. It's tragic. It's, it's, it's awful. It's, uh, it's unlike anything I've ever seen, and the police officers with whom I'm, I'm working are, are in a similar position. The man who lived at the Page Boulevard home but has not been charged in connection with the bodies was in court on another disturbing case. Stuart Weldon facing new charges involving yet another woman who says he kidnapped and raped her. Not connected to the alleged victim, police say they rescued from a vehicle he was driving when they pulled him over last week. She thanked officers for saving her life and said he'd been raping and beating her with a hammer. She's still in the hospital and recovering. We did everything we could, understanding the violent nature of the incidents and his criminal history, to keep him behind bars, uh, and that wasn't, that wasn't the outcome. The DA, Anthony Ganuli there, talking about Galuni there, talking about Weldon's criminal history. He was out on bail with three open cases against him when police arrested him last week, and that's what led them to the grim discovery at this home. The home belongs to his mother, and today the DA confirmed everyone known to live at this address has been accounted for alive. We also know the Department of Children and Families has taken one child. In Springfield, Christina Hager, WBC News. Christina, thank you. Also